Oh my gosh, they're going to, I mean, they punted it down to the one yard line. What a great punt by Atlanta. Nice push by that offensive line. That is a huge push. And Sanders is going to run it. He could take it all the way to the house. No, he just didn't have the gas in him. Wow, he had an opportunity for a 99 yard rush there, but does get caught from behind. And Terrell Jr. with the big stop preventing a touchdown. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of the Bryce Young Player Lock franchise. We are in week seven. As you can see, we are, what, what are we? I, I don't even know what our record is. We are five and one. We are going up against the four and two Atlanta Falcons who are in our division. So we got a big division game going on here. It's going to be a, a tough one. I know it is. Those division games are always tough. We lead the division, but the Buccaneers right there with us. And I think we beat them. If I do remember correctly, we did beat them. So we got the tiebreaker over them. But the Falcons, man, they're right there. They're four and two. So with a win here, you know, if the Falcons beat us, then it's a three-way tie, you know? It's going to be really interesting to see how this plays out. The Saints... On the other hand, not looking so hot. We beat them. Everybody's beat them. They haven't won a game yet. Uh, so, whew, I'm sorry, guys. Sorry about that. But without further ado, let's not waste any time. Let's jump into it. Let's play some football. I'm excited. This is an away game. Uh, we've had several home games in a row. Uh, and we're going up against Kyle Pitts and the Falcons here at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And let's go with, let's edit some uniforms like we always do. Uh, custom ways. No, we want current alternate, current color rush alternates. There we go. There we go. That's not bad. Is that what we want? Current away option. I don't see much difference between the aways and the alternate. Oh. There is no, there is no difference. Oh, huh, okay. Oh, the socks. The socks are different. I'm okay with the socks being blue. What do you think? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, we're, get, we're getting too, too much into it. I do like the black too, though, you know? But we're going to go uh, current alternate away option that's what we're gonna do all right i spent too much time doing that let's play some football let's beat another division rival here this one the atlanta falcons in atlanta at the mercedes benz stadium last week everett 78 yards were seven seven receptions three touchdowns three touchdowns i didn't realize he had three i knew he had two i forgot he had a third one there so three touchdowns that's good stuff man he was a big for us in that victory five touchdown passes for bryce young 374 yards for bryce young uh and we have found a new favorite target that is our tight end and rightfully so i mean the tight end is a security blanket for most quarterbacks in the league across across the board anywhere you look you have a good tight end that can block that can run routes catch the ball really you don't even need them to block i mean if you really want somebody in there blocking just put another lineman in there uh but somebody that can is big uh you can throw a little block every now and then but go and just be that security blanket for the quick catch hey i'll take it i'll take it all day long here we are this is a guy we gotta worry about Bijan robinson Worry about him and Desmond Ritter. Bijan making name for himself here. Brian Burns with a big sack. Eight-yard loss there. So that's Oh, and another sack. Back-to-back -back sacks. We're going to get the ball here. That is a great way to start, but we're going to be on the five-yard line. That's going to be a tough one for us. Let's come out gunning. Let's run a little play action here. I like this one. Mingo's usually open on this. And yeah, we got the ball on the five-yard line. First and 10. Here it is, the bootleg. And not... Oh, how did he come up with that? I thought that was about to be intercepted. Mingo, 
what a great catch there really shouldn't have ran thrown it to him i kind of would like to have a replay i don't think we're gonna get it because i think there were probably somebody else we should have thrown it to but we get we get a nice little catch there first and 10 ball the 29s so we get out of the shadow of our own go post and we're gonna now hand it off to sanders and makes a nice juke oh and he makes another man miss wow what a great 10 yard run by miles sanders last week 29 attempts because let's face it they don't ever put the backup in can't really when i'm in this game mode the player lock i really can't do much about substitutions kind of sucks uh, you know to be real with you all right second and inch i guess the only way i could do substitutions would be fatigue and look at this sanders i'm getting all kinds of what's going on back here in the backfield i was getting all manhandled and stuff but another big run by Miles Sanders there. And we go across the 50-yard line. We now have the ball on the 46. And I don't know. Atlanta, so far, haven't been able to stop the run. And I think this might be the same play. We got a ball first and 10. Another handoff to Sanders. And another big hole. I mean, what? They have no defensive line? Or what's going on here? Three rushes for 35 yards already. He's had two rushes of 10 yards. And I feel like ooh, maybe second in inches. You know what? Let's do this jet sweep. Why not? And we got we got Sanders in the zone here. Yeah, the man going in motion, young under center. And it's a head off to Mingo. He's gonna get the first down. One rush for six yards there. We don't see that happen very often. Oh, and there's a little, little scuffle down there on the on the field. That is a first down. And right now, uh, no reason to go away from the run. Atlanta hasn't shown any signs of stopping us. Just going to keep running it behind those two superstar offensive linemen. And there we go. Another 10-yard rush by Sanders. He already has 52 yards. Well, no, we have total 52 yards rushing. First and 10 ball on the 19-yard line. Carolina looking pretty good so far. The game plan to run the ball has really paid off. It's, oh, now it's finally Sanders. Oh, he gets tripped up. Had finally got, he made two men miss and had an opening there. But that guy on the ground tripped him up. The so second and nine. This is the first time I think we're kind of seeing something like this. And actually the defense is looking to actually play the run for the first time. We're going to play action it, but nobody has taken this tight end, and he's going to come up with a big catch. Sanders, nobody took Sanders either. We could have went with either guy there. But we're going to go with the tight end that I have no idea how to say his name. And that's going to give us another first down. We are now on the six-yard line, and here we are, first and goal. And, man, I don't want to run the same play. Sanders making a nice. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Two jukes. Gets it down. Gets about four yards on the play. Gets it down to the two-yard line. And let's give him a, a nice little touchdown here. Pay him off for all that hard work he's done on this drive. Second and goal ball on the two. Takes a snap. Hands off to Sanders. And, oh, they're going to stop him. He does get a yard. They're going to stop him. But I, I see no reason to not give up here. Third goal. We're, I mean, we're getting at least a yard every play, right? If not more, well, let's do it. Third goal. If we can't get it in from here, then there's a problem. There's, there's something wrong with this. And the snap. There it is. He bounced around. The offensive lineman made a nice pull there. He followed in number 77. And Sanders coming up big with a touchdown. That's going to give Carolina the lead here. Seven to nothing in the first quarter. Let's get another look at this. And he can't be stopped. Sanders didn't get a touchdown last week. Does get one here early on in today's game. And extra point is good. So seven to nothing. See what Atlanta can do. Is there's another big sack? I mean, they must have the worst offensive lineman in the league. 
as uh, we get a huge sack there. Fourth and eight. They're going to punt the ball away again. And oh my gosh, they're going to, I mean, they punted it down to the one yard line. What a great punt by Atlanta. Nice push by that offensive line. That is a huge push. And Sanders is going to run it. He could take it all the way to the house. No, he just didn't have the gas in him. Wow, he had an opportunity for a 99-yard rush there, but does get caught from behind. And Terrell Jr. with the big stop, preventing a touchdown. Oh, man, I, Sanders has got to be tired at this point, right? Oh, that's going to be the end of the first quarter. That's going to give Sanders a bit of a rest there. We've only had two passing plays. Already over 100 yards rushing in this game for Carolina. 111 yards rushing to Atlanta 16. And the snap. And not really anywhere to go. That's the first time, I think. Sanders has not gotten positive yards on a run. I think part of that not running to the strong side. Those linemen over there on the right side, not as good as those on the left. Oh, Sanders is wide open. Bryce Young looking good here. Three for three so far today. And it's going to be a third and six of so this might be the first time in today's game where Carolina or Atlanta for that matter can make a stop he's going to get it over to Thielen sure hands Thielen makes the catch and gets the first down that was a little bit risky there a little more risky than I expected it to be but it does pay off it works in our favor we get the first down we got the ball on the 37 yard line the person 10 and another big hole for Sanders. He makes a man miss. And he gets about five yards. And maybe it's time to throw the ball here. Nine minutes, 45 seconds left in the second. Second and five. And he takes a snap. It's a fake over to Sanders. And he's going to get it over to Everett for the first down. So far, Atlanta, no answer for Carolina's offense. That's Phillips' first tackle. Stretch plate to the right side. And nowhere to go. So, so far, I haven't been able to really to run it to the right side. I don't know if that's a lack of offensive linemen being good on the right side or if it's uh, maybe their defensive line is a little bit better on that side, but... So far, not working very well for Carolina. So he's going to... Uh-oh, this could be trouble. He's going to throw it over to the tight end there. Make up a little bit of ground. Bates, the third, comes up with a tackle. And it's going to be third and seven now on the 18-yard line. Young takes it and shotgun all by himself over there. And Brandon Cooks with a big reception for the first down. That's his first reception. I'm sorry. That's his first reception. 10 yards on the play and a first down. Cornerback just didn't know what was going on there. Was thinking, wasn't expecting the curl route. First and goal on the eight. Another handoff to Sanders. Again, that hole gets swallowed up pretty quickly there. It's about a yard on the play. I don't know if they've started making adjustments or what, but haven't been able to run the ball the last few times. Did he catch that? He caught that? I really thought that quarterback was going to come in there and Make an interception. I, that's unbelievable that he makes this catch. Let's get another look at this replay. As that quarterback, I, oh, well, he just misjudged it. He was going up to cover that other guy on the curl route. And Everett 
right there. They're going to do a booth review, though. They're going to see if he kept his feet in. I didn't get a good look at it on the replay. Let's take another look. We'll get another look at it right here. Oh, yeah, that's definitely... To me, I think... That's that's a catch. That's that's a catch to me. That's going to be a touchdown. We're going to go up 14-0. Let's see what the, uh, the referee has to say, though. Yes, it stands. Good job. All right. So, see how the extra point is good. I should not have worn this hoodie. I am really hot right now. So, incomplete pass. Second and 10. And another pass knocked away by J.C. Horn. Third and 10. But Jake Matthews gets injured on the play. Six-yard rush by Ritter is going to bring up another fourth down. And here we are again. First and 10 for Atlanta. Ball on the 20-yard line. And we could go up by three scores. Atlanta, I don't know how they're four and two at this point. As it is not looks good for them. And going to get the ball over to Sanders. And Bryce Young, believe it or not, nine for nine today so far. Carolina with 211 total yards of offense. First and 10. And a handoff to Sanders. No, it's a play fake. And he's going to take a shot downtown. This... Oh my gosh, and there's the first set of completion. I really wanted to go to Mingo, but uh, there was a guy kind of hanging out there that made me a little nervous. So I took a shot downfield, and it bite, bites us in the butt. They're almost intercepted. So second and 10. Hand off to Sanders. Nowhere to go again. He gets tackled in the, in the backfield, but they're going to give it forward progress. And here we are, third and 10. Carolina might be looking at their first three and out. Well, the first time to punt the ball, nonetheless, but we'll see what they cook up here. Young and shotgun Sanders lined up to the right. Takes the snap. And he's gonna hey, he's gonna make a bad decision there. Throws it over to Everett. Unsuccessful on that uh conversion there, and it's gonna be fourth and ten. Carolina gonna have to punt the ball away. Being up 14 to nothing, I think we're safe here. But Atlanta could easily get right back into this game with a touchdown. Incomplete pass. Going to bring up a second and 10. Five-yard reception by Kyle Pitts. Third and five. They're going to get another reception here. They're starting to get a little momentum going. Second and six after the four-yard rush. Another four-yard rush. Or was that the same four-yard rush? Not sure. Third and three. And they get another 11-yard reception to the safety blanket of Kyle Pitts. Here they are marching down the field, trying to score before halftime. 43 seconds left in a big sack by Landry. They get it right back. Third and eight. Kyle Pitts is injured on the play. 13 seconds. Fourth and four. They're going to have to kick a field goal with 13 seconds left. They do. And now and we do are just going to take a knee here as we're going to get the ball back. Here at the second half. We'll take a knee going at halftime. Come back out. Start this all over here in the second half. As the Carolina Panthers on top of the Atlanta Falcons at halftime. 14 to 3 in Atlanta. So something we did not expect. 115 yards rushing in the first half by Carolina. Big Big day on the ground. They did start making some adjustments there in the second quarter and slowing down that run a little bit. So we're going to see what Carolina's game plan is here in the second half. I'm sure they're going to look to try to continue to run the ball. And yeah, here it is. First play on the ground. Sanders juking and jiving. Can't make up his mind on where he goes. Breaks a tackle. And he gets a big, big yardage there. He's now up to 125 yards on the ground. 
And it's going to be a new set of downs for Carolina. Ball on the 40-yard line now. Young takes the snap, and he's looking to pass now. He's got a receiver open. It's Sanders, and he comes up with it. And it looks like Young was hit right as he let go of the ball. We're not going to get another look at it, unfortunately. But big reception there by Sanders coming out of the backfield. And second and 10 here. Oh, it was incomplete then. He's got a receiver. That's Michael Thomas. Sorry, I thought he caught that for some reason. It looked like he caught it, but at second and 10, obviously it was an incomplete pass. I apologize for that mistake there. Good read on that. I was wanting Everett, but he looked like he was covered up, so we went with... Uh, Michael Thomas on the play. The first and 10 now, ball on the 45. Sanders gonna take it again. And gets about two yards. Only 16 attempts so far for him today. We got a second and eight now, ball on the 43. Atlanta's defense has stiffened up a little bit. They're playing a little bit better. And we get it over to the speedy Brandon Cooks. He's going to be just short of the first down. They did bring a couple of blitzers on that play, but didn't phase, didn't phase Young uh, one bit. Why are you cutting that back? Oh, they're going to give him the first down. Okay. Well, we, I, I felt like we made a good read on that read option there. Uh, but Sanders, for some reason, decided he wanted to cut it back, and that almost almost bit us in the butt there. So first and 10, ball on the 34-yard line. Young takes it. I really didn't have anybody. I could have went over to Sanders. I almost, almost didn't have anybody. Uh, we had a little curl route there in the middle that I thought about going to. I don't know if we could see it here. But he was kind of covered up, too. Really, Sanders is probably the play. He was wide open over there in the corner. Uh, so, a new set of downs. Eight minutes left. Eight and a half minutes left here in the third. Young takes the snap. And we got we got kind of all kinds of jumbled upness going on there. I really, that's probably, in my opinion, should have been a pass interference. They're not going to call it. And here we are, second and 10, ball on the 20 yard line for Carolina. Ready? And the snap, it's a toss play to the right side. Sanders making his way around. He's got daylight. And he's going to get a first down. But Atlanta still having trouble with the run play. Just didn't expect, I really didn't expect this from the game plan. Didn't expect to see this kind of stuff here. So we got a first and goal now. Ball on the nine-yard line. And the snap. And there's a the fumble. And I believe we recovered it. No. Oh, they're saying Atlanta recovered the ball. <sighs> what happened here? He just... He, he may have been down. It's hard to say. And I don't know. I can't see the ball. I can't see the ball. I don't think we could challenge. So Atlanta's going to have the ball here on the seven. And we'll see what Atlanta can do with that. Big penalty in the left uh, tackle there. They get a three-yard rush. So second and 12 after the all start. And third and nine. They get a 28-yard reception to Goings. He's on with his two-yard run. Second and eight ball in the 38. A penalty on their center. Another five-yard penalty. I don't know if that's a false start or what, but I think it was a five-yard penalty. Might have been a 10. But they, it looks like they've made the proper adjustments. They're, they're slowly working their way down the field. It's not easy for them. Um, not really having big plays here. Third and one. So let's see what they do. They Yeah, I figured they would run it as... Oh, my gosh. There they go. They may they may score, and that's going to put them down by, yeah, yeah. They're going to kick the extra point. 
Oh, a penalty on us. So they may end up... Yeah, I figured with the penalty, they would end up going for two, and they did. So they're down by three now. Not happy about this. And we got a wide open Gerald Everett down the sideline. He's going to come up with it for a big, big reception there. And with five, there's five seconds left here in the third. Carolina going to have another first down. We're going to get a look at this. We've stalled out the last two drives. Unfortunately, we were doing really good that last drive, driving down the field, and we fumbled. Which allowed Atlanta to get back into this game. First and 10, and there we are. We're going to take this into the fourth quarter. Carolina in the lead, 14-11 right now. And... Passing and rushing pretty even for Carolina. 329 total yards of offense. So here we are, first and 10 ball on the 44-yard line. Young takes a shot, the snap under center. He's gonna get it over to Brandon Cooks, who gets a few yards on the play. Gets about six yards. That's gonna bring up a second and four. There we are. Young lined up in shotgun. Tied in, lined up uh, to the left and to the right. Sanders lined up to the right of Young. He's going to take it right up the middle. Oh, and they're going to leave him a sh yard short of the first. Third and one now. Big play here. Carolina. Takes the snap, hands off to Sanders. He's got daylight. There is a flag on the play. He did get the first down, but there is a flag. Let's see what the flag is. And it is. It's going to be holding on the offense. So, as of right now, they really don't want... I feel like they don't want Carolina to win this game, do they? Let's see. Third and seven now. We get it over to Mingo. Easy first down. Almost threw that too late, I felt like. And it's going to work in our favor. First and 10 ball on the 25-yard line now. Takes a snap. Take the underneath route there. Get five yards. I'm okay with these dink and dunks. I mean, five yards. Hey, I'll take it every time, right? Second and five. Ball on the 20. And a snap, big hole for Sanders. He's going to get through it. He gets the first down. Plus another, about another five yards on the play. That's going to bring the ball down to the nine-yard line with a first and goal for Carolina. They got down here last time and fumbled the ball. Let's see if they can get it into the end zone this time. First and goal ball on the ninth. And it looks to be a play action. He's going to throw it across. And he gets it into the end zone. And that is, yes, it's Jonathan Mingo who comes up with the touchdown on the play action bootleg. Comes across the middle. That was actually a little scary there. Because he had one of the better cornerbacks in the league covering him there. But it wasn't enough. He has three guys on him there, actually. Bryce Young just makes a beautiful cat, a, a throw. So that's going to put Carolina up 21 to 11. That'll be 10 points. We'll see how this plays out. Wow, what a big return there. Second and six, they get six yards, third and inches. This is going to be a big play here. They get the first down on a four yard rush. Well, I don't think they've gotten less than four yards here in the second half on a rush play. Incomplete pass by Ritter. Brings a third and three. And a pass knocked away. That's going to be a fourth down. They're going to have to... No, they go for it. A fourth down and get a 12-yard reception for the first down. They are... No hose bars here. Incomplete pass, second and 10. As they had the ball on the 31-yard line, looking to drive it in and score. So third and 10, fourth and three. What do they do here? Do they kick the field goal or do they go for it? Penalty on the right tackles. And now it's fourth and eight. They are going to kick the field goal. 
And now they have 14, so they're down by seven. And with five minutes, 40 seconds left, we're going to try to run the ball, run the clock out here. We do have Sanders in the zone. And he's going to get three yards there. If we could just get three yards of play, I'll take that. Three and a half would be ideal. So, second and seven. Ball on the 28. Center's calling out. My climb backer and the snap. Trying to follow his blocks. Doesn't really get much there. Gets about three yards. That's going to leave a third and four now. So, with four and a half minutes left. Looking to get a first down here. He's going to take the snap. He's got Michael Thomas open. And he's going to get the first down. So good stuff there. That's going to keep the clock ticking. We've got to have good clock management at this point. And really, going to try to slow the tempo down. We're going to try to run the ball. Switch sides here. I want to run it to the good side. As we're bringing this down here, we're going to bring it to almost three minutes to 30 seconds. Uh, he didn't switch like I wanted him to. I wanted him to switch to the other side. I didn't, it didn't happen. But he still manages to get seven yards. So we're going to have a second and three. We'll take this down under three minutes now. Here we go. Let's see if we can get another first down by... Miles Sanders, he's been a workhorse today. He's going to get tackled forward, but it only gets a yard on the play. So here we are, third and two. Let's see what we... Man, they just want mesh spot. They want me to run mesh spot every time, don't they? So at this point now, we, we should be able to take this down. Two-minute warning. Even if we don't get it here, you know, they have to score. <gasps> Unless they do that. I, I never, I don't know. I don't know what I did there. What a big mistake there by Bryce Young. Lorenzo Carter dropping back in coverage there. Unexpected. As that play has been open all day long. And he draws back in coverage almost like he knew it. Gets the interception, and now here we are with uh, two minutes, six seconds left, and they have the ball on the 16-yard line. I mean, this this is what unbelievable. Now they got the ball on the four-yard line. They're going to be able to score here, but they should leave a lot of time left on the clock. Do they go for two? No. Oh, they missed the extra point. They missed the extra point. Unbelievable. And that's going to give us the ball. Minute 43 left. They are going to call some timeouts. But all we got to do is run the clock out. Well, we, we got to get a first down. Do got to get a first down. Ready. <sighs> We're going to run it to the weak side here. Good block there. It's not enough. Oh, boy. As long as we don't throw an interception, man. The third and seven. Ball in the 28. There it is. First down. Michael Thomas, nobody's there. Nobody's there. And that they just called their final timeout. We're going to be able to kneel the ball down now and win it. All because of a missed extra point. The interception almost bit us in the butt there, but... Man, what a what a game here. Carolina, I mean, this is reminiscent of another game we had recently where we won by one point. That one we drove down, scored the touchdown, kicked the extra point to go ahead. This time they went, they tried to kick the extra point to tie it and missed it. We're gonna take this down to one second on the clock to snap it. I 
and we'll be able to run one more play. I don't know why you're going that way, Sanders. Really don't. And Young having a hard time hearing what the next play is. Dude, it's kneel down. Just kneel the ball. Really, we don't, we almost, almost, almost don't even have to. Somehow, our team will find a way to punt the ball, though. Right? Like, we'll take this down to, what, force it three seconds? Run it. We'll kneel it. And then the, the computer will call a timeout and punt it. Something, something silly like that. Clock is going to tick. There it is. And that's going to be ball game. Carolina is now 6-1 and one on the season. Atlanta drops to 4-3. and three. Really going to come down to what? Well, how is Tampa Bay looking? I didn't get to see any of the scores. I don't know how they did in this week's uh, contest. But what a great game by, by Bro Bryce Young and Miles Sanders. And when we take a look, we see here Bryce Young, 79.1% completion. Best that he's ever had, in, I think, in my opinion. Not opinion, but from my recollection. 223 yards, two touchdowns, and then we'll go ahead. We'll look at, oops. Yeah, so 19 to 24. Did have that interception. Longest was only 33 yards. Miles Sanders, 28 attempts, 171 yards. He averaged 6.1 yards. Only one touchdown. He did have that fumble. Uh, 11 broken tackles, 60 yards after contact. And one of over 20 yards. It was 51 yards. That one that he almost took to the house. And that was some good stuff. All right, guys. That's going to be it for this episode. What a great game. Another great division game. Comes down to an extra point. And uh, if you like it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell icon. And guys, look. I, I, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Really enjoying it. Thanks. Thanks for everything. And as always, guys, until next time, y'all have a good one. Peace.